So there's a girl that goes by Iffy, and she's a rapper, and on YouTube I go by Fu in Orbit, and sometimes people call me Effy, and it sounds a lot like Iffy, and I don't know who came up with their name first or anything, but, uh, she steals my lyrics, and... She does them horribly slower than what I spit them as. And the reason I was spitting the lyrics that she stole, I had a reason for spitting those lyrics. And it was to see if my eyes and ears could keep up with the rhythm that I was going at. Because it's a off the wall, very fast rhythm. And if people were using my eyes and ears I would be able to tell by them starting another margin and listening to my lyrics and starting that margin that they are my ears because of the speed I was going and she kept taking over the lines and going slower And, like, stir stirring in her lyrics that totally sucked. And it's really embarrassing for my raps to get wrapped up in a song that she uploaded to YouTube revolving around her shitty-ass lyrics. I don't want my good lyrics combined with your shitty-ass lyrics, iffy. Okay, Iffy, I don't want my gorgeous lyrics tied in with your atrocious lyrics. So, please back up off my dick. Or get on your knees and blow a cock. Because I don't have time for your ass trying to one-up me. And you suck at rapping. You suck at freestyling. It's easy to pretend to be someone. And it's easy to steal someone's lyrics. It's actually skill involved in freestyling rap. And obviously that's something that you don't do. So you need to keep your ass out of my business. And take it to your side of the planet where you suck at rapping and you're slower than me at rapping and you stumble over your words and you don't form conclusive thoughts. So go ahead and do that and I'll go back to writing lyrics that actually makes sense and you can be an idiot because you got caught by me stealing my lyrics and I'm sorry that like I called you out and it must hurt your feelings but you have to just deal with it because I'm not going to take it easy on you. Just because you are so obsessed over fame. That you are willing to steal for it. That just makes you a Satanist. Go worship. Uh, you know, those demons that. Uh, our overlords of greed and can give you all the fame that you want by expressing my ideas to your ass. I don't care what god you worship. You shouldn't ask god to become a good rapper because 
then God goes and gets all ready to bless you. And then he realizes he has no wraps to give you. And you would have no skill to even fork over or propose any sort of functioning deal in the record industry. So you end up with my lyrics. Like, I don't care if you're praying for it or you're worshiping Satan for it. Whatever the reason is, you need to get a grip on your personality and stop trying to stand out using other people's words. Okay, Iffy? Were you iffy about stealing my lyrics? Probably not. You were probably all over that shit. You should name yourself all over that shit. Like a fly. Like a gnat. Just all over that shit. I propose my foes get disposed of before I mow over them with the snowblower because it's starting to get icy out and you know that I'm all pricey without them hunters. I'm fumbling for another dose of what you got coming across the boat and a lot. Because I need to grope onto my cock before I unload into your crotch. If I was a guy, you wouldn't steal my lyrics because you'd be afraid that he would get people to beat your motherfucking ass and, I, and be afraid that he would beat your motherfucking ass. But you need to be just as afraid being me being a girl. Okay. It's bad enough that people steal my lyrics all the fucking time, but now someone that has a name that sounds like mine wants to steal my lyrics. It was so bad when Doja Cat stole my lyrics, and that was because she stole my stage name too. I came up with Doja Cat before her, and someone told me there already was a Doja Cat when I came up with the name Doja Cat, and she didn't come for years later, claiming to be this lyricist that just steals my lyrics. It's getting pretty ridiculous what I have to deal with in society, so please clean your act up, ladies and men. Recognize true pride from the lies. And maybe you'll be surprised with some new rhymes from my side of the town. Being renowned, being proud, completing nouns in formidable bounds so we can all lounge and hit the loud what's wrong with that exactly and if I'm gonna be prepped up to be a fantastic rapper for you guys the last thing I need is seeing more and more people steal my lyrics so I'm getting all my stuff copywritten and I don't care how much money that costs me because people should support me either way. So if you want to continue to see me rise in the ranks and make bank and give thanks then please stay tuned for when I copyright all my lyrics with the money I just made making uh 
making my company and my business flourish from the floor up. Because um, I have a special set of skills that allow me to calculate lyrics in your life that you've written that you didn't know about. And people pay top dollar to get this service. So, I'm going to use the money that I earned from this service so far to copyright the rest of my lyrics, and I don't, predict, I don't predict that I will have any problem getting back the rights to my lyrics from these whack rap stars that stole them. Yeah, where is the coffee? There is no coffee. She just buying it. Oh. Oh, they ain't had none at the store of mine? No, she didn't want to buy any. Because it's what people do. Because people made a mess. So. That's crazy. I am getting my personal business. Uh, taken care of and organized as of now so I'm no longer stressing about these people stealing my lyrics anymore because I'm going to get all my lyrics copywritten and I can still prove that I wrote all those lyrics so that's points for me I already got entitlement for writing one of T.I.'s songs. Big things poppin'. Only some people don't know that I wrote T.I.'s song. Big pop, big things poppin'. But I still have a copy written.
lady, taco lady, cause you was born in the 90s. So what station is it coming on down here? 30. 30? 30. Is that the Valley Station? That's the Valley Station. Do you have that station? No. You don't have it? Oh, no. It's, it's coming on Valley. It's channel 30. It's on channel 30. You want to see that game? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I got the kids, man. You can bring it down, I guess. If you guys don't recognize me as the only motherfucking rapper by now, I'm gonna have to say you're insane. There's like a couple others, but if you're into rap, you'll probably like my raps, even though they're made by me and not the person that they say is by. It's ridiculous I have to share the starlight, I mean the spotlight with anyone. The limelight.
of sexual assault on any of the bodies. But she did give new information on the nature of the wounds of at least one victim. There were stab wounds on the hands of at least one of the students that make it appear that it would be the hands of Williams. Jeffrey Cremona, the father of victim Zanna Cremona, told the CNN affiliate that he believes his daughter fought her killer to the very end. But you know, if he ain't the one, ain't the only one stealing my lyrics, so it's no the product, Lady XO, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Drake, Crooked Eye. Who the fuck is Crooked Eye anyway? They just make it up names for people now. Yeah, I'm cool. What's up? Even Mike Posner steals my lyrics. And I don't care if all these motherfuckers claim to be me. I'm the only one writing them because I'm consciously in my body in this life. Kristen Jankowski, as an artist, is making these songs. And I don't give a fuck who claims to be me. They ain't fucking me. I'm my own individual. I'm my own person. I deserve respect as far as what I create for the world to enjoy. And I don't care if we're literally the same person. I didn't do it for that person to prosper off me. And whoever would want to prosper off someone that has nothing is fucking ridiculous. Bone Thugs and Harmony stole lyrics from me. Mercury stole lyrics from me. Chris Webby stole lyrics from me. Token stole lyrics from me. Tech Nine stole lyrics from me.
And it gets really annoying when people wear your name out and wear your reputation out for fame and money. It's absolutely sickening. Can't think of a more horrible fate than to lose out on all your money and fans because someone wants to steal your lyrics. And then no one believes you, no one supports you. No matter how many fucking rap songs you make, it's always, Oh, this person did it first. This random motherfucker that never raps without Kristen being there, ironically, is making so much money and has so many fans, even though he doesn't supply you with the fucking timely raps that you expect to get. See, I'm timely about my shit. I make sure you guys always have new shit to listen to. But I'm about to, like, have to show my ace and give up on all of you as far as senses go. Because you're all literally senseless without me. Go wake up in your own life. See how much you like it. Maybe you'll come to realize a few things without my help. It's a really uneasy feeling knowing that people love you, but they don't even know it's you. And will never know it's you at this rate. All those reps you love were made by me and no one knows. I'm just lurking in the shadows. Supposed to give you what you want, but... You choose to believe in false idols. And it brings you to a certain fate. You get no new rhymes. You get no new raps. I'm giving you the bare minimum lately. In hopes that you'll still catch on. But it's still not looking all that good. It's looking grim. I should be happy by the time Christmas comes because I'll be getting a Nintendo Switch and some games. So I'll be happy with that and then I'll start producing new music, but don't expect anything before Christmas because y'all need to learn your lesson in respect. You don't Respect people lying to you about the art they create, the songs they create. And expect everything to be fine. It's not fine with that artist. It's not fine with that true creator. It's not fine with that true songwriter. And I can rap just as fast as these maniacs. So it isn't about the talent that I lack. It's about not getting... The spotlight I deserve. So. Give me my own. Rap booth. Or at least my own rap time. Where you sit with me. And enjoy the raps that I make. And understand. That someone is going to claim my rap as their own no matter what. Unless I write it out and put it on my YouTube first. And I'm not into rat races. I don't need to... But I'm willing to prove it if you want to sit down with me and take into consideration what I supply compared to what they supply. 
And I want us to go head to head, to head neck to neck. Head to head, neck and neck at it. Like a competition. I get my time, then they get theirs. Or they get their time, then I get mine. Let's organize this. Or you'll never know the truth about the magic behind the pen. The magic behind the wrapper. That's an easy way to fix it, though. Just give me my time to wrap to you. In a seclu secluded area. With a hot rap beat. And I'll show off for sure. But as long as I'm in a competition with these nerdy dweebs. That think that they can just steal. My raps. It won't be. Everything you're expecting because it's starting to annoy me. I don't want to get linked up with these false idols anymore. They need to mind their own fucking business and keep to themselves for now on. They better not pop up in my motherfucking dreams or mine, period. I don't owe them anything so they can just keep their distance. And I'll mind my business and keep my distance just as easily. But I will come back for my raps because I did a deal worth a million dollars and it was actually two deals, so it was worth $2 million for one person. I keep the $2 million, they keep everything else they make. And... It's quality... Work done, quality... Results... For that payment. And it's something that they never had before, so it's interesting when people pay my business to find lyrics that they mastered in their being that they just didn't know about that I could find for them. That's what the money is for, finding lyrics that you masterminded but never knew about. And I offer that I offer that service to anyone. Uh, so far, Marilyn Manson chose to uh, be interested in my um, services, and. If he paid me, I don't know where the money is. So Marilyn Manson can be added to the people that stole my lyrics. Same with Korn, K-O-R-N. That's a band that was interested in my service that I'm not sure if they ever paid me. I never saw the money. Who knows where that money could be? Probably still in their pocket.
And also, Juicy Fruit steals my lyrics. Bad Baby steals my lyrics. Suicide Boy steals my lyrics. Chains steals my lyrics. Eminem steals my lyrics. Hobson steals my lyrics. And Rico Nasty seals my lyrics. Cardi B seals my lyrics.
Even Cradle of Filth have stolen my lyrics. That's what made me think I actually was the singer of Cradle of Filth. Because I never actually saw the singer of Cradle of Filth. But the Cradle of Filth got my lyrics too. And if you choose to believe that I didn't write all those lyrics that I just named off people and they're singing my songs, if you don't believe that, have fun with no music, no new music. I guarantee you don't get a fucking flake out of these fake rap stars. And it's going to remain like that forever. So this is my warning to you. Start idolizing me instead of your fucking fake rap star fan. Fucking fake idols. Idolize me. Worship me. Pay me. Hang out with me. Be brave for me. Wait for me. Believe in me. Treasure me. Because it's the only way you're ever going to see another new song. Unless you want this garbage that they offer you. Cause they, like, Mercury started writing his own songs. Cause he was about to get caught for writing my songs. He switched it up a bit, but his songs suck. If you want that hard shit, you gotta come to me. The song Homicide with Mercury and Bone Thugs and Harmony, I wrote that song. Bone Thugs and Harmony added in a few parts, but I wrote all of Mercury's verse. That song with Mercury's Tech Nine and Hobson in it, I wrote that entire song. It's called Bass. Look it up. Bass by Mercury's Hobson and Tech Nine. If you want to see my skill at work but you'll never see that sort of thing again you'll never get it like you had it unless you can part ways with these fake rap stars and join my side it's that simple I'm laying it out on the line for you because I know it's hard for you to make decisions and choose wise paths in life with all these fake idols lying to your face. But you're not going to be getting anything out of them. So if you're truly interested in getting new music. Then it's time. 
to show me some gratitude for the songs I make and not them. This is like a little music war. And I refuse to lose. And I won't lose as long as I get the proper credit that I deserve. So figure it out. Figure out the rest for yourself. You can prove to me somehow that I am meaningful to you in your life if you like my songs enough and you realize you haven't gotten a new song that is good in years, then you can pretty much do the math and realize that it's because you subtracted Kristen from all the grace that she deserves to witness in life by relying on people that don't actually write their music. They're not going to be there for you in the end, in the beginning, in the middle, none of it. Y'all going to cuddle all night? I don't give a fuck. It's fucking disgusting. All you got there is a fucking soulless demon looking for money and fame and credentials everywhere he or she goes as long as you're believing in these false idols stealing my lyrics. They ain't fun. They're ordinary. Get the picture.